Hello guys, I will show you how I managed to configure uh, video streaming widget to uh, blink up. So at first I looked to the threads and I didn't find uh, a solution. So uh, at first you need to download blink up and add a video widget then uh, try to search uh, some links for example like this and try to set up your widget with these links if you success then uh, you can try to uh, set up your second smartphone as a webcam so uh, what do I have uh, this is uh, LG Nexus and uh, with a blink up and this is uh, HTC one which will act uh, as an um, IP or webcam so <clears throat> at first um, you need to download the app uh, which is named as RTCP server this I will uh, add links in uh, the description <coughs> this is RTCP server so um, the second thing you need to launch the app and uh, try to uh, configure it so that it don't crash so <clears throat> um, I will show you my settings so it is in Russian but I think that they are um, similar uh, video is a resolution uh, like this uh, then uh, frame rate is uh, 15 for like this uh, quality medium uh, code coder is H 200 uh, capture I said like this and uh, betrayed it doesn't matter so uh, the next uh, main thing is to, to uh, start your app and uh, uh, you should uh, see that it do doesn't crash so uh, it outputs the IP address you should uh, note it then uh, <coughs> you launch your blink app and uh, uh, add a video streaming widget I already have one so this is my widget the settings uh, is RTCP protocol your IP address from uh, the uh, app and uh, so also you need to set up a port for RTCP this is like this uh, I have a default values so after you set up the app you put the address uh, here with the port and uh, add slash camera so this is your settings then you start the um, RTCP server up on your smartphone which will act as a webcam so then you need to uh, do the following uh, you should have uh, a notification on your camera uh, up that uh, IP address got connected as you see I didn't have it so I do the following I um, close the app then uh, relaunch it and wait some uh, minutes some seconds here I will get the notification And if it doesn't appear, I think that I should press the start button. 
see the notification appeared it uh, says that we can uh, now see the video as you can see uh, I have a video a delay is about 10 seconds so I will move that uh, smartphone and you will see the uh, video is changing here so like this you can experiment with settings and other things and uh, also I noted that for example uh, okay you, sh you can uh, also turn off the screen and uh, the main thing is that the app is still running so I can uh, can uh, turn the phone and you can see that the video is changing so um, it also uh, is good that for example if you close your blink app I have stopped it and then for example you uh, relaunch it as you can see the video is, is the app is uh, stopped I uh, turn I turn the play button and you can see that it is uh, updating and now after some seconds about 10-15 seconds it will show the video let's wait and see okay the video appeared and is still uh, okay so you can see that there is a delay but if I move everything is okay so the main goal is to have the app uh, running and um, without any uh, errors so you, this is my setup and if you have any questions you can ask in uh, English or Russian I try, uh, try to help and thanks to Blink developers who developed this wonderful app